All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Low Voltage Garage. This week's delivery is a Fire Engine Red Ford Utility, a 2016 model. We've got it set up for South Area Fire District. It's up near Rib Mountain, a little ways north of us, close to Wausau, Wisconsin. Let's check it out. All right guys, now the interior of the car we kept very straightforward and simple. That way the medic can just drop right into the car, take off and go. All the controls are set up in a very ergonomic style. We've got a Gamber Johnson vehicle specific console for this 2016 utility. We paired that up with a Motorola XTL 2500 radio, remote head, everything is in the electronics panel on back. We have a Phoenix 4200 controller, also remotely activated up here and the brain box is in the back in the electronics panel. Progressive slide switch. Slide one will turn on the lights to the rear. Slide two turns on the red color lights all the way around the vehicle. Slide three turns on rears, all the reds, plus the white intersecting lights, not only in the front, but also off to the sides. Then all they have to do when they get to the scene and they don't need their emergency warning lights anymore, slide the switch off. Everything on the panel will turn off then. So some of the other buttons run some of the other features for the light bar, for instance. We have our left, right, and center scene lighting. That way if they just need to spot some numbers on a house off to one side or the other, they have that option. Or if they pull up to the scene of a crash, for instance, and they just need light up to the front, the center button is a good option for that. If they're in a hurry and they want to light up an entire 180 degrees, this button activates all three portions. Also, this vehicle is going to be used as a command vehicle. It's a first response unit, and if they get there, we have gear storage in the back. The fire chief said this would be a perfect place to have a command center. All you have to do is press one button. That will activate the green flashing lights around the vehicle. Or 
or if they just want those green on a steady burn to indicate where they are, we have that in a simple function as well. Of course, we have our siren functions over here on the left, whale, yelp, and for parade use, we can actually turn on the Ghostbusters tone. One of the nice features about this Phoenix controller paired up with the Phoenix siren as well. Also momentary button for air horn. Over on the right hand side, we have a few other auxiliary buttons. One we've labeled for the red lights hovering over the command area in the back and the other is for white lights that are doing the same. Just in case they want to not burn out their night vision, they can choose the red lights. Otherwise, the white light is not only a flood on the command cabinet itself, but also a flood off to the back. Included with this Gamber Johnson console cup holders, an armrest, we've added on this small recess box with a lock and a three position cigar outlet. A magnetic mic makes it extremely handy. That way they don't have to fish for that awkward slide motion. They can just click it right on. Okay guys, now we've got a multi-colored Enforce light bar up on the roof. Now the Enforce from SoundOff is completely computer controlled. And we figured since they already have the bar and we've got the vehicle, let's tie it into the vehicle systems and see how it goes. So we've got a few interesting features. We'll take a look on the bar. The first is if you step on the brakes, well, the entire light bar lights up. We also added that feature to the lights mounted by the license plate. Turn on your turn signals, one side and the other. That also lights up on the light bar. We figured we want to give as much warning as possible when these emergency medical providers and firemen are driving around going to calls. That way they can be as safe as possible. All right, guys, that concludes our walk around. Thanks again for watching. And if you're up in northern Wisconsin and you happen to see Battalion 2 wandering around, make sure you give them a wave. We'll see you on the next one.